week, instead of interviews with Andrew and Olivia, we are doing rumors with Andrew and Olivia. I'm Olivia Huber. I'm Andrew Page. And we have just received from the desk of Ivan Philby an executive order. Ivan Philby has just revoked the lifestyle statement. True. Now we're going to head out onto the field and we're going to see the opinions that you have on this subject. Ivan Philby has put in um, some legislation to um, do away with the lifestyle statement. I have heard about that. Yeah, what do you think about that? Um, I think that would be pretty great actually. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's not very followed across campus, and I feel like it's a formality that a lot of people don't really yeah. take seriously. It'll be, it'll be safe. It'll, it won't be crazy. It'll you will have a lot safe. of those kids on probation. Wow, that's gonna, it's gonna be a shocker. It's gonna be some wild parties around graduation time. Exactly. So have you heard the rumors about Ivan Philby is revoking the lifestyle statement. No, I haven't heard those. I know a lot of people don't really like the lifestyle statement. Uh, I would rather have it in place, but I mean, if he revokes it, it's gonna make campus a very interesting place. Philby just okay. revoked the lifestyle statement. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. I know, That's right? cool. Just, what do you, uh, what do you, whoa! Oh, come on! <laughs> you don't need to take off your gloves. I do! Okay. We have decided to change the lifestyle statement. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, um, from now on the lifestyle statement will include things like serving around chartreuse, being part of your lifestyle. Yes! <laughs> like bringing dinners over, okay. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like, that's part of the new community that we are developing here. I'm just giving a small example of this today. Exactly. What that's like. So you enjoy the Fanta today, by next semester you bring the Fanta to me. Distraction! It's a distraction segment. I'm flirting with you! Oh, I'm flirting with you! Are you? Yeah! He's flirting with me! We're flirting together! <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with her now. Just wait, her. no, it gets better. <laughs> no response! Wow! I don't know what to do. <laughs> I would give your father ten cows for your hand in marriage. Ten Nine cows? Nine milk and a beef. I think my dad would like that. You look really Caucasian today, sir. Thanks, I tried. I woke up this morning and I was like, wow. I'm gonna be really white today. Definitely. Nice. Now, like, the board is trying to impeach LV Ivan Philby. What do you think about that? You think no, that's, right? that's yeah. stupid. That's crazy. No, it's <laughs> Ivan Philby is the best thing that happened to black people since MLK. Turn up. <laughs> well, I don't feel anything that way because board information is kept from predominantly everyone who isn't a higher up. No comment. Wow, there are going to be some definite riots over that one. It's going to... And, and now with the alcohol and drugs, with influx, it's gonna get it's gonna get really crazy on Greenville College campus. Um, I think we should start a revolution. Okay. Uh, the Save Ivan campaign. Save Ivan. Okay. Save Ivan. Yeah. That's what the Forever Philby shirt. Forever are for. Philby. That's what they're about. A lot of people aren't aware of that. That's actually in response to his impeachment. Um, I think my great grandfather has a musket, and okay. we could like post up outside yeah. of Chartreuse and just yeah hold our ground. Really. Yeah. Is what we need to. Yeah. Was his name Muscum? Muscum, yes. Yeah. Yes, great grandfather Muscum. He owned a musket for yeah. two. Uh, he has never liked peaches ever. Mm. So, you know, he doesn't mind if they impeach him because he's never been a, a big fan peachy of peaches. kind of person, no. 